this an effort, it's an effort, I should say, to change the response to 911 crisis calls in Rochester. City leaders announcing earlier today the Department of Recreation and Youth Services will take over operation of the Family and Victim Services Office from the Police Department. A new Crisis Intervention Services Unit has been created. Rebecca Fath explains the plan. City leaders tell us the goal is to create a non police response to calls regarding mental health and domestic violence. They say there will be two teams of mental health professionals. One is a homicide response team, another will deal with mental health and domestic violence related emergencies. Both teams should be on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, how does it work? The commissioner of the Department of Recreation and Youth Services says when you call 911, a dis Dispatcher will screen the call and decide whether to send a mental health professional instead of police. Then, when counselors arrive on the scene, they should determine whether it's safe and whether they need to get police involved. Funding for this crisis intervention team comes from a transfer of about $680,000 from the Rochester Police Department budget and $300,000 from the city's contingency budget. We know that the professionals who have long worked in FACET and victims assistance will continue to do their work in serving the community, but doing it in, together in a unit that is connected to, but not led by, law enforcement. Mayor Lovely Warren was scheduled to be here making this announcement, but she did not show up. City leaders tell us they hope to launch this in October. In Rochester, Rebecca Fath, News 8.